Hey guys, welcome back to the TC Games Daily Origami Series. Today's video is featuring this version of the pinwheel square box design. And if you want to find out about how to do the bases, they should be in my previous videos. I've got three variations, which is these two and this one, which looks the neatest because it has the pinwheel design on the inside. And all the lids that I make should fit onto this for the pinwheel design. Just like that. Uh, the same goes for the other bases. Now to make this, you'll need four sheets of origami paper or just four square sheets of whatever kind of paper. You can use printing paper if you want. Uh, just make sure it's a square sheet. And uh, make sure all the uh, squares are the same size for both the lid and the uh, base. So I'm using 6 inch by 6 inch for the lid, and that's 4 pieces, and you'll need an additional 4 piece for the base. And if you want to find out how to make the base, you can go to a previous video. So to make this, you'll need to take your first sheet of paper, and the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to place it so that you've got the color side facing down. And it's actually entirely up to you if you want to change the color of the design. So right now I've got the... Uh, purple on the square and that little triangle there. If you want you can reverse the colors and make it so that the purple is on this white part and the white part uh, is reversed on this uh, purple part. And uh, the easiest way to do that is just to change the side in which you start. So I'm going to start with the color side down. And the first thing you'll want to do is you want to fold it so that you get a diagonal line going from this edge to this edge and another diagonal line going from this edge to this edge. So fold it so that this top edge right here aligns with this side edge right here. Just like that. And once you've got it aligned, simply crease that back end in, like so. Now open it back up. And you should have that first diagonal line going through there. Now you want to fold it so that this top edge here aligns with this side edge right here. So just fold it down like that and then crease that back end in. Once you crease it in, now you should have two diagonal lines going through the center and it should make an X shape like this. So once you've got the X shape going through the center, next what you want to do is you want to take one of the tips and make it face you. It really doesn't matter which one. And once you've got it facing you, the first thing you want to do is you want to fold it so that this tip right here aligns with that center crease you just made right there where the X intersects right over there so take this tip and fold it all the way up there just like that so that it meets that intersection right there once you've got it aligned simply crease this back end in just like that now what you want to do is you want to turn this whole page around like so and you should have one side folded like this now you want to take this folded edge right here and you want to line it with this center crease right there just like this and when you do it you want to make sure that you release this triangle bit right there just let it pop out because you don't want to crease that uh, triangle right here so once you've got it aligned simply crease the back end in just like that fold it back down now you should have a shape that looks like this once you've got this, next what you want to do is you want to turn it sideways like this so that you've got the next tip facing you. And you want to fold it so that this edge here aligns with this edge right here. So just fold it like that. Then crease it in. Turn it to this side. Do the same thing. Fold it so that this edge here aligns with this edge right there. And crease it in. Now you want to take this flap and you just want to release it just like that so that you're back to your square sheet with these two flaps and then you want to actually just open this flap up as well and just have this flap folded now turn it around so that you have this to facing you which is opposite to this flap which is folded and now you want to fold it so that this edge right here this crease which you made going from this edge to this edge aligns with the center crease right there so it should fold like this, aligning with that 
center crease and then crease it in. Once you're finished, you should end up with something like this. Now what you want to do is you want to flip it around like so. And you should have these pre-creases made from when you folded it before. You want to fold it along the second crease that you made right there. So from the tip, there should be the first and the second crease. Just fold it backwards along that second crease so that you get a shape like this. Once you've got this, flip it back over to this side. Now you should have something that looks like this. Now what you want to do is you want to take this tip right here and fold it along this edge so that you've got this edge right here aligned with the center of this triangle right there. So just fold it like that and as you can see it's gonna this edge is gonna align with that center of the triangle and then just crease that in and you should get a shape like this. Now we're almost finished. Next what you want to do is you want to fold this along this crease right here and just define that crease once again just like that. Once you've done that open it back up and now you want to take it and fold it so that this edge right here right here so that it gets folded along this crease just right there just like this. Now turn it over and you can already see that this design is there. In the box we had earlier you had this design. Once you've got this shape you know you've done it right. So now turn it back around. And now for the final step what you're going to do is um, you're going to make a diagonal that goes from here to here. As you can see the diagonal is already there but when I initially made it it did not have the diagonal so you have to make that yourself. And to make that what you basically need to do is you need to hold it, hold your finger right there raise this flap and flatten this part right down and you know you flatten it right when you've got this edge here aligned with this side edge right there so as you can see when I flatten that down these two edges meet just like that and you've got one of your square corners or the, one of the corners for your square and you should have a shape that looks like this so once you've got this and you've made four of them like that. What you want to do is you want to take your first piece like this and hold your second piece like so. And you want to raise this flap a little so that you can look at this. And then just insert this into this pocket right here. Just like that. Once it's inserted just push it all the way in. And just rest this. Now what you want to do is you want to actually raise this flap out just like that and tuck it into this pocket right there and this should hold these two pieces in while you adjust the other pieces now take your next flap or your next unit like this and again raise this flap a little so you can see the inside insert this into that pocket just like that now you're going to take this flap right just right over here you're going to insert it into that pocket and that should keep all the three uh, units into place. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece right here, the very last piece. This part's going to be a little bit tricky but uh, shouldn't be too hard. Now as you can see this part is underneath this edge right here and really it should be on top so that you get a shape like this. So just take this and raise it all the way to the top just like that. Now you should get a shape like this. Now what you want to do is you want to take this, open this flap up, and insert this right in there, just like that. And then you want to raise this flap, just like that, and put it all together. And try and get it so that there's no hole in the center. As you can see, if you if it's spread apart, there'll be a hole. Let's try and get rid of that hole. And now we still have this flap to take care of. Now what we're going to do is we're going to push it just as far as it needs to go right about there so it's like this just push it apart raise this flap a little and then just insert that into the pocket once it's all loosely in just push them together and now all four sides should be interlocked like so 
Once you've got that, you want to start putting these flaps in from one side to the other. So just put this in. So you can see all the uh, flaps came undone. But uh, until we got to that last step, it held everything together. So uh, start putting it in like so. And now I've got three flaps in. But this last one, before I put it in, I want to make sure everything is properly aligned because this is what's going to keep the whole lid in place and as you can see I have a tiny hole in the center so I'm just going to try and get rid of that before I lock everything into place now that it's gone I'm just going to take this flap just insert it into that little pocket right there and just crease it in and that's how you make your uh, second variation of the pinwheel box I think it's the third now I think I already did this one and this one already so this should be the third variation so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you liked it don't forget to rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video and next time I think I'm doing this box so yeah feel free to check that out so thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time